you dig what I'm saying? And welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy J.I. And I'm back at it again with another banger. Now, you guys see the title. You see the thumbnail. Um, I'm currently in Mamba right now. Letting them warm up before we go ahead and get into this drive. Um, no, it's not clickbait. I am reverting the Camaro back to stock. Um, <laughs> the cold air intake is sold. The guy already sent me the money. So... In today's video, we will be going to my storage uh, unit, grabbing my stock intake, and actually we're gonna swap the intakes at the storage unit. Um, I'm gonna put the stock intake back on the car. When I leave the storage unit, we're just gonna head straight to USPS, the postal service, and send out the cold air intake. So, no, this is not clickbait. No, it's not BS. I'm putting the stock intake back on the car. So. While I let the car warm up, we're gonna go ahead and roll that intro and let's get straight into this video, baby. Let's get it. What is good, y'all? You dig? Welcome back to yet again. Another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Enjoy the video. You dig? Alright y'all, so as you can see, you dig what I'm saying? We just made it to my storage unit. Got Mamba perked up right there. About to go ahead and pop open the hood and get started taking this cold air intake off. But before I do that, let me get you guys a couple revs with the cold air intake on. Um, it's gonna be the last time that you guys see this cold air intake on this car. Let's get these revs in real quick. All right, y'all, so those are, I just did a real quick rev. I did like two of them, nothing too crazy. About to go ahead and start taking this joint off. Then I'm gonna go to my storage, grab my stock joint, put it back on. So first and foremost, let's just go ahead and start off by disconnecting these hoses. Oh, and they broke. And they dropped one of the tools. And then, there's a clamp up here, but it's like a, it's like one of those clamps where you just gotta turn a knob. So once you have it disconnected, you can actually just rotate the hose itself. And the release for the clamp will most likely nine times out of 10 reveal itself. Yeah, here we go. Just gotta find it. There it is. It's this little lever right here. I don't know if y'all can see that. But it's like, it's behind this, right? It's a little lever. You literally just take it, move it over to the open, and then take the line off itself. So, that's how you get that part off. All right, so to start off, you're gonna take off that hose that I just showed you guys. I forget the name of the hose. If you know it, drop it in the comment section down below, or I'll probably have put it up on the screen. And you got these two eight millimeter bolts that are holding this clamp um, together, like basically uh, this clamp is a little pain, but you should be able to, once you get one of them off, you should be able to just wiggle it off. Again, do the same thing on this side. Just loosen it a little bit. And now you got this off, right? You want to make sure you're careful with your airflow sensor, bruh. Be careful, no cap. Do not, you do not want to fuck this up. So give me one second. I'm about to go grab my Allen key set and we'll knock that out. 
All right, y'all, so you wanna grab your Allen key, go ahead, and there's two, there's two bolts. You're gonna undo both of them. Now, the cold air intake, cold air induction is cold air intake actually comes with a different size um, bolt than the stock one does. So y'all just keep that in mind. You could definitely, um, I'm not 100% sure if you could just wing it and put, you know what I mean, the stock screws in there. Um, you put your, your cold air induction, cold air intake on, but I personally just didn't do it. I just put on the bolts that was provided. Now, once you get that bolt off, you can just take off your air floor sensor. Just keep that somewhere nice, right? So, it's this joint. I'm gonna just go ahead and tighten these clamps down so I don't lose them. For the intake box itself, we got a couple more island key joints. A traditional screw that you have to sit there and really screw in. It literally is just three little fasteners, that's all. So now we got that off. There's a 10 millimeter bolt holding in this the shield, the heat shield. So you want to grab your 10 mil. Everybody should have this in their toolbox. It's a ratcheting 10 mil. Bruh, saves your life. Once you get that 10 mil off, the heat shield should just come up. Now that we got the cold air inductions, cold air intake taken out, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the stock intake and throw it back on the car. Soon to be ported. <laughs> All right, guys. So now that we got the stock, the cold air inductions, cold air intake taken off, you're gonna gonna start by reinstalling this onto there. It literally just pops right in. Watch out, bro. And you leave it like that for right now. Then you're gonna take your stock intake to and you're gonna go ahead and install it back on make sure that it's nice and sealed and you're gonna take this tube right here that we the vacuum line I believe and you just gotta insert it back in there like that that's air flow sensor You're gonna take your actual intake box itself, legit. intake box and the piping itself connected you're gonna want to go ahead connect the intake piping back I'm gonna 
grab your mass airflow sensor. Like I said, the stock and the cold air induction mass info mass airflow sensors. Um, the bolts are different, so make sure you keep your stock bolts. No cap. See, I'll show you. This is the cold air induction bolt, and this is the stock bolt. Two different, two different bolts. Make sure you have the line. Everything is on secure, bruh. I had no leaks. Same thing with this one. Straight like that. Then you grab your 10 millimeter bolt. Cause you gotta bolt down the box itself. That joint. Now we go ahead and fire the car up and make sure we don't have any codes. Lights on the dash. No leaks. Uh, no lights. Give it a little rev. All good to me. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pack up the cold air inductions, cold air intake into this box and head over to USPS, ship this joint off. All right, y'all, about to go inside real quick, mail this joint off. Um, you know you can't record inside the post office, so I'm gonna leave you guys in the car. I'll be right back. All right, y'all, so unfortunately, my fear was true. You dig what I'm saying? I was a little worried that since it's Saturday, they weren't gonna be open. So I went ahead and I checked on Google Maps last night to see what time the post office opened and it said nine o'clock so that's why i just was like okay i'm gonna go up there and send it off now i got up to you know the the location and there was somebody going inside there was no cars there though um so i asked him i was like are the clerks in there and he was like no so i kind of had a feeling that they weren't going to be there today it's all good we're actually pulling up to chase somebody like stole my card or something like that online and has been shopping online with my card information so I'm about to go ahead and go turn this joint off and uh then i'll head over to fedex with the missus because she got to fax some paperwork off for school so i'm gonna head off i'm gonna head to fedex with the missus a little later and send this joint off so i'll see you guys in a couple of seconds for y'all an hour or two for me you did all right y'all so as y'all can see we are not in mamba right now um that is actually gonna be it for this video i just shipped off the cold air intake um via fedex because USPS was closed, as I mentioned in the last clip. So, without further ado, that's going to be it for this video. Mamba is back to stock um, as far as the cold air intake goes for now. <laughs> but, without further ado, that'll be it for this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Make sure you turn on those post notifications. Make sure y'all tune in to the video that we dropped on the couple's channel. Joy and Joe pops up on the screen right here. Make sure y'all go tune in. Link is in the description down below. Smash that subscribe button. Stay ready for these prank wars because they are starting now. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.